If both hinges are broken, or if one is broken and the other is showing signs of wear, you should repair the book with double-stitched binder tape. You will need Demco Norbond adhesive, a paste brush, waxed paper, double-stitched binder tape, scissors, a bone folder, cheesecloth, two or three rubber bands, or a book weight. It is important to make sure that the spacing between the rows of stitches in the binder tape is very nearly the same as the thickness of the text block of the book. If either hinge is not fully broken, cut it so that the text block slips out of the casing. It is essential to remove the flyleaf if it has remained attached to the cover. Clean up and secure any loose material in the spine area and on the insides of the covers. Be sure there is no loose material on the spine of the text block. Cut the binder tape to match the length of the text block. When the preparatory work is completed, brush Norbond adhesive on one side of the binder tape. Attach the tape around the text block with the stitches aligned on its corners. Smooth the tape with a bone folder and set it aside to dry thoroughly. After the adhesive is dried, brush Norbond on the remaining side of the tape. Set the text block into the cover. Push the cover boards toward the spine so the edges of the cover align with the stitches. Use a bone folder to attach the two tabs securely to the inside of the covers and blot any excess adhesive. Place a sheet of waxed paper inside of each cover and close the book. Run the flat side of a bone folder firmly along the spine to ensure that the tape is attached to the inside of the cover in the spine area. Place the rubber bands around the book and set it aside to dry overnight. When the repair is dry, you'll find that both hinges are better than new and the double-stitched binder tape allows the tube to open as before.